Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 16th video in Windows Server 2016 uh, video tutorial and in this video today I'm going to show you installation and configuration of ISKC target server full step by step. So basically what is ISKC target server? ISKC target server is a, and a Microsoft servers. ISKC target server is a server which is providing ISKC learn or ISKC storage to client machines such as ISKC initiator. So we'll see how to create ISKC target server and how to map the drive on a uh, ISKC clients. So ISKC target clients. So here is my demo environment which we are going to use in this demo. So we I'm using the same virtual machines, a uh, three virtual machine uh, which I have used in my last video and we are going to install a ISKC target our, on our Win2K16 DC01 so currently Win2K16 DC01 is an active directory and DNS server you can see the IP address is 192.168.2.254 and my domain name is victorinfosol and here you can see this is my Win2K16 server and my domain name everything and currently active directory and DNS role is running on this machine and we have two Hyper-V server, Hyper-V1 and Hyper-V2 and I'm going to install ISKC target server on my uh, Active Directory server and we have a, a two Hyper-V server which is Hyper-V1 and Hyper-V2 so we'll map the ISKC target disk which is coming from ISKC target server to these two uh, Hyper-V hosts so let's start to install the ISKC target server we need to go to manage and add role and features and here we need to click next and the installation type role based or feature based installation because the ISKC target is a, a, a role based installation under the file and services so click the server click next and here we have a file and storage services if you expand this you will be able to see here ISKC target server and click next and then on a feature page don't need to select anything click next and on the installation click install button to begin the installation of ISKC target server so just need to verify I have a one attached one extra drive which is D drive of 200 GB to this machine uh, as, a, uh, as a local drive and we'll define this drive as a ISKC target to share the virtual desk on it so wait for installation to be completed then we'll see how it's work so installation succeeded on Win2K16 DC01. Go ahead and close this. Now if you go to file and storage services, you will be able to see here a small ISKC. And now we have a ISKC virtual disk information. There was no the virtual disk. To create a vir ISKC virtual disk, start new ISKC virtual disk wizard. So we can go from here and click on create and if you don't if you have not installed the ISKC target server then you will not be able to get this this screen it will give you the option to install the ISKC target server first so in my case we have a server here uh, we have here this so we can define the disk and basically you can go here and also you can see view all targets everything so let's go and create the first disk and we need to select the D drive here and click next and need to select the virtual disk name so I'm going to call it like ISKC disk 01 and click next and here is the path where it's going to store and under the D drive it's it will create ISKC virtual disk and then the disk name and virtual disk is creating going to create in VHDX format so click next and we need to we have an option to free space we have 21 uh, 201 GB and we have option to fix size dynamically differential so I'm going to create dynamically expandable and this I'm going to create a 21 GB disk and we have a target which we are going to map the client to this target and all the disk is going to map in target only so go ahead and create a new target we don't have any existing target so click next and the target name we need to select win 2 k 16 dc 01 
प्राइस कैसे टारगेट एंड क्लिक नेक्स्ट एंड हेयर वी हैव अ इनिशिएटर इंफॉर्मेशन हु कैन एक्सेस दिस आईस कैसे टारगेट सो वी हैव अ मल्टीपल ऑप्शन वी कैन सेलेक्ट लाइक IQ and DNS name or IP address or MAC address. So I am going to click here and going to define. A, you can also go here and select the server like Hyper V. If you select, you can select the Hyper V and click OK. Then it will add the Hyper V initiator ID here. You can see here it's added. Also, you can define the IP address. So let's add this only. So we have added both the server in So both the server uh, our Hyper-V servers are added and they are uh, going to access this target and the virtual drive which is mapped here So click next and authentication I am not going to enable Click next on a confirmation page click create now you can see it's creating virtual drive target and set target access assign a uh, ice cassette disk to target so everything is done here and see we have created one virtual disk and we have one ice cassette target also you can create one more disk create a new disk on a d drive i'm going to save it call it like ice cassette disk 02 and say it 51 GB dy ex dynamically expandable so I'm going to use the same target which we have created last time and if if you want to create new target you can go ahead and create new target so I'm going to use the same target here which we have uh, created existing click next and everything seems good click on create button so what we have done we have d uh, created one ISKC target uh, and we have created two virtual disk which is connected with this ISKC target and you can see the target status is not connected and the disk status is also not connected so virtual disk status not connected target status is not connected so and now let's verify the disk here if you go to D drive you can see ISKC target is created and these disks are dynamically expandable so both the sizes here and if you want to modify the disk size you can go ahead and modify the disk size like extend disk ISKC so let's do it new size will be 31 GB and click OK and now you can see the drive size has been so this is very easy step to modify the disk setting and ISKC target so let's map these drive these two drive on client machine so client machine to add a client machine on a client machine we need to go to ISKC initiator and here you can see it's asking the service is required to start ISKC function collectory so it's saying you need to start every time on a system boot so yes it will automatically start so before doing anything here i want to i want to give you some information about multipathing access what is multipathing access basically iskc disk which is coming from iskc target need to be accessed by both the both the server at the same time then we need to enable a multipathing which allow us to write read and write on a same drive on a same disk uh, from different different servers at at the same time so for that we need to enable a multi uh, multipathing so multipathing need to be installed on a both node which we are going to access so on a role multipathing is a basically feature based installation so go ahead on a feature page need, need to select we need to select a multipathing io so click next and install and same i'm going to do on my hyper v2 it will take some time to get the installation done for MPIO installation is succeeded go ahead and close this and if you go on multipathing now MPIO we have here option on discovery MPIO path we have in to enable the add support for ISKC device for multipathing 
so we need to add this if you click on add it will require reboot immediately so a reboot is required to complete this option operation reboot now yes I'm going to reboot now and same I want to go on and do on my second Hyper-V host so here we can go and add here and just reboot both the host so once the server is up we can go ahead and check the settings distributed click control to delta login and same we need to log in on second host also so put the credential there so now if you go on ISKC target ISKC initiator and before doing this I want to go to, to open a desk manager here so let's do one thing you change the drive letter to Z oh a CD drive to Z oh, CD drive to Z I'm going to set mm. and now we need to go to ISKC initiator and type the IP address of our target server which is 192.168.1.254 which is our active directory server and here you can see the status is connected now I want to disconnect this once and now if you connect click on connect it's enable uh, give you option to enable multipathing so go ahead and check this and click OK and now if you click yes then you can see this connected and bring online both the disk not initialize so initialize both the disk in uh, whatever you need MBR, MBR or GPT so I'm going to make it in GPT and now create the partition here so D drive and call it like ISKC disk 01 and format this I'm same I want to create here with another drive e drive make it ISKC disk 0 2 give some time to machine so we are done with this and now if you go here you can see the status disk is connected with our Hyper-V node 1 and if you go here and refresh this you are able to see the disk status is connected virtual disk are connected and this is also connected so good to know same I want to go here and do open a disk manager first launch the ice cache initiator yes I want to run every restart make it Z drive letter for our CD drive and put the IP address of our target server ice cache target server so click on connect and now disconnect it first and then we need to connect with multipathing so we are done with this and now if you bring online disk it will automatically assign the drive deleter because we have formatted on our first node so are done with this and now if, if you want to change at any location like Hyper-V settings you can go ahead and create the Hyper-V settings and if you go here and create one folder in E drive and call it like Hyper-V VMs and provide the path in Hyper-V settings 
you can go ahead and change this and you can apply this so now you can see we have created assigned the, this machine as a uh, this drive as a Hyper-V virtual default location for virtual machines and you can see the status here so this is all about how to install the ISKC target server on Windows Server 2016 and how to connect the uh, connect the ISKC target disk by using the ISKC initiator so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye